guys welcome to my channel my name is Sharon you can find me more most active in Instagram as Sharon's craft where I post a lot of my finished object as well as my uh, works in progress um, I do crochet I just started knitting about a year and a half probably a year and a half or two years ago but I stopped during that time because I find it too difficult but I just picked it up again sometime this year or was it end of last year and I'm really enjoying uh, knitting up some socks currently and so that's what I'm going to show you today uh, so first of all let me tell you about what I'm wearing so today is a very hot day it's a very hot day i think it's i don't know the exact temperature but i think it's about 30 above 30 degrees celsius here and i'm here in this very hot room where i don't have an air conditioned here so there's just um, a fan right beside me keeping me cool as i speak so i'm not sure if you can hear the fan at the background Probably not, I'm not very sure. So today I'm just, uh, so right now let me show you. So this is what I'm wearing. This is, uh, I think I showed this to you on the previous video. This is one of the short sleeve sweater that, a uh, summer sweater that I crochet. So it's a very simple short sleeve sweater. So I do this um, two panel from the, uh, it's just this, one panel from here all the way to the back and the other panel and I just joined here in the middle that is why it's uh, actually just square and here at the end I just finish it off with this ribbing just to close it up and I love it because it's keeping me really cool in this really hot weather and I cannot stress that enough because it's so warm Okay, so um, I have a, uh, my first cup of coffee right here and it is close to 12 noon and this is my first cup of coffee. Yeah, I should have had this in the morning but no, I just decided that I wanted coffee right now. Okay, so um, first of all, let me show you uh, some of the finished object that I'm doing so the first finished object that I wanted to show you is here this open cardigan yes this is open cardigan I did not put any button on it so it's not a closed cardigan it's just an open one and it's just um, great if you are like in a very cold room or in the office and you just want to throw, throw on something to keep you a little warm so this this is a great uh, project for that this is a great piece so i added two pockets here and this cardigan is actually quite long it i think it's it will just reach um just above the knee and it's requested by a friend and i finished this i just need i block this but i think i need another blocking i just just to open up all the stitches uh, and make it even more drapier but overall I like this I love how it turned out this yarn is using uh, one of the yarn that I bought from Aliexpress the brand of the yarn is called Surong I'll link that down below um, and this yarn is actually similar to something like Rockstar or Rock and Roll yarn uh, with the metallic going through the yarn and it gives this sheen to it. So I think this is the third cardigan that I made uh, using this kind of stitch and the, the crochet style it's similar so you might have seen that in my instagram if you follow me in my instagram so the next finished object that i wanted to show you is 
Um, you, you remember from two videos ago, I did mention that I, I have a friend who requested four, uh, four sets of baby beanie with socks. Well, I did not completely finish it, but I did complete all the beanie for the baby beanie. So, um, all in neutral color. I hope. I hope the color are neutral enough because I'm not very sure about this purple one. I think it should be okay for either a girl or a boy. So, um, this one I used uh, out of one of the stash, uh, the yarn from my stash, but I don't uh, remember what yarn this is or the brand because I lost the ball band at the time. And this is also from the stash and I have no idea, no clue where the ball band went to. Most of my stash from, I don't know, two, three years ago, ball band are missing, I'm not sure what happened to them. I think they just run away. Uh, and these two, I do have the yarn label. So I'm just gonna show you. So this cream one, Cream one is actually ice yarn, um, Dora. It's a very soft. Uh, I think this is acrylic yarn. An acrylic yarn. Yes, it's a hundred percent acrylic yarn, but it's very soft. So this is made out of this. And this one here is made from this yarn. It's a it's called soft ruggy. I think you're seeing that backward. But this is called soft ruggy. Uh, it's, let me see. Okay, it's a 65% premium acrylic, 30% bamboo, 5% polyester. That's why it's really soft. And, and when I was working with this, it is so soft and stretchy and I think it'll be perfect on a baby hat so this is the yarn that I use for this and this one I'm not sure what is the size of the yarn because it's not stated here but this is um, 268 meter for a hundred gram skein so it says 80 gram can make a pair of adult socks so this is made in turkey uh, so that's the one of the the other finished object uh, finished project and I think I've also shown you the the socks that we, went with the um, the hat so so these two was the first uh, I finished last week and this this is the socks that goes with it. Oh look how cute they are they are look they are baby socks. So I made this using the same tutorial that I followed from Nitty Natty Toe Up Socks. I am not sure if this will fit because the baby is not born yet um, but I really hope they do because yeah baby feet are small right yeah so I, I do hope they fit okay so um, and I have one half finished pro project a half finished project because I only did one side of the socks I love this color. Don't you just love this color? I don't know if you can see this. So I've done one side, so I just need to do the other side. And this one, the yarn I use for this is actually this this color. And this is um, for me, and I have a very uh, small 
small leg. I think I use six point. I I am using a six point five or seven size U.S. size shoes. So this is actually quite small, and I actually use less than twenty gram for uh, one one side less than 20 gram so i can actually use 40 gram for a pair of socks 20 gram each and because i don't really like long cuffs uh, i like short one so it saved a lot of yarn and this is the yarn that i'm using so this one is from i bought this from an etsy seller her name is tamiwi color uh, i'll link her etsy shop down below uh, the colorway is called bloody detox um, it's 75% superwash merino and 25% polyamide and I just love the color you can see the speckle in there it's really pretty and I really love how this turned out it's, it's just very plain stockinette stitch all the way so I made this toe up as well because at the moment that's the only method I know how to make knitted socks. But I'm slowly watching those um, cut down socks and I find it really interesting especially the heel flap, um, the gusset, was it called gusset and heel flap? I really wanted to try that and yeah so i don't have a blocker wooden blocker for this that's why it looked really wonky right now once i have that i've ordered that but it's not here yet so once i've ordered that i really wanted to block this out and see how it uh how it will look when it's blocked i'm sure it'll look even more i don't know more attractive <laughs> And I really love the colors. I love all the speckle in it. And yeah, and pink. It's pink. That's why I love it. So let's move on to my works in progress. So my... So, sorry. Things are dropping everywhere here. So um, what I wanted to show you is... Uh, this yeah. all right okay so this is the latest uh, baby mini that I've uh, done and I'm trying to work on the socks for this so I have finished this one set of the socks using this one this yarn it's just one set of the socks and I'm working on the other pair currently if I can find it I think it's right here so, so this is the second pair so I've completed the first one and I'm working on the second one, one. and I was using this pulling it off from this I was working on something from this but I decided to frog it and since I was using the the yarn I might as well use this for the socks as well you know recycle since I'm not going to use this anymore why not so this is my one of my whip all right so this one is um, using two mid stitch and two pearl stitch this rib here so it give it a little more stretch so i like how that turned out i just need to finish this soon i really wanted to finish this today and the second rib i have is uh, i think i showed this in two videos ago for this sweater that I am making using this yarn, yarn art, um, Jean Plus. This is from Hobium, and 
It's color number 73. It's a like light peachy color. I love the color. And this is what I carry. This is a bottom up sweater. It's not complete because I need to do the sleeves, two of the sleeves, and I still need to do the ribbing for the neck area. And I think the last time I showed you, I was actually here. I did this much. And now I have completed the whole body. I don't know. Let's see. I think it's a little small for me. You know, I might have to lose weight to wear this. It's either that or I'm going to rip it all out. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the second whip I have. Of course, the third whip is the, the other pair for this one. So that's my third whip. Um, and I started a new sweater. And I'm really excited about this. So let me show you. This is the new sweater that I have started, my new whip. And I'm super excited about this. I'm, I really am. I don't know why. I think it's because it's the color and it's pink. It's making me really excited. Really, really excited. I can't wait for this to finish, to be finished. And this one, if you can see, isn't it pretty, the color? I love the color. Okay, so this is from Sidar, number one, Aaron's Stone Wash. And look how pretty the yarn is. I don't know if you can see. I don't know. It's not focusing. Okay. So, um, this is, uh, 197 yard for 100 gram and this is 50% acrylic and 50% nylon that is why it's going to be super stretchy and I'm really excited about this um, this is made in Turkey Sidar S-I-R-D-A-R super super excited I can't wait for this to be finished, but first I need to finish off the baby socks and everything else. And I have also new requests for a male sweater that I'm going to do. Mm, I don't have the yarn with me now, but I've, I've picked up the yarn because mm, a friend of mine requested a white, plain white uh, sweater. Fully white, no color work, no um, speckle, just plain white sweater, a male sweater. So I have picked up the yarn, but it's not exactly pure white. It's a little bit off-white, a little bit like um, cream, a very light cream color. I hope that's okay. So that's what I'm going to start next. And of course, I need to finish my socks. So um, the other pair of the baby socks using the, the ice yarn, Dora. And I need to finish this off. This one, it's either I need to lose like, I don't know, 10 pounds or I'm going to rip this. Because it's a little bit too tight for me. I've tried it on and... Fitted. It's fitted to my body and I don't like it. But I've done this much. Yes. Why didn't I make a gauge swatch? You say. I don't do gauge swatch. I usually just do, just start making something and I just, you know, measure it to my body. But somehow this, for knitting, I am not very... Um, sure of the uh, stitch count. I am more of a crocheter than a knitter. So for crochet, it's more easier for me if I were to make my own sweater and it's easier for me to control how many stitches I want. 
and I'm, I know that it will fit me but for knitting it's always like a guessing game something like that and because I don't follow any pattern so I just start knitting something up and just I made the short sleeve sweater before the knitted one and I was using like about 120 120 stitch for the round and using a six it's a size four um medium size four weight yarn and i used a six millimeter hook and that was a little snug so i knew i need to do more than 120 stitches and this is like i made this 130 stitches and i actually increase um another stitch every 10 round but somehow it's still really snug so i think i really need to go up probably 160 60 stitch and just yes. this is trial and error for me because i don't know how to read pattern i i really you know i really i'm really bad at reading pattern so i just all of my um, project, either crochet or knitting project, it's, you know, by estimation. I know. I should learn to read pattern. I should learn to do gauge swatch and all those. Yep. Okay, so... Um, it's getting really warm here even though i'm using this mesh um sweater it's still like super hot right now like you know if there's a pool of ice i would jump in that's how hot it is right now so if you have any question on any of the uh, yarn that i showed you or the project that I'm um, making, currently making, or the one that I've finished, please leave any uh, comment or question you have down below, and I will try my best to answer them. And I think that's the end of this video. I don't really like video that's too long. I think because I'm not very confident in um, talking about things. No, not really. I talk a lot but I mean in front of the camera it's very unnatural to me right now still so um, thanks for watching um, go check out my Instagram at Sharon's craft s h a r o n s c r a f t so you can uh, look at all the project I have done before or what I'm working on and things like that and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.